Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We here. Just the boy, the king of toxic himself. I'm back, man. I'm feeling good. Y'all know when y'all see me, it's a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? Y'all thought I wasn't going to ever come back, speak. It's my first fucking episode. I got my brother with me, co-hosting. This ain't no interview. We ain't asking him shit. We talking about child. Y'all know when y'all see us together, it gets scary. <laughs> it's a scary moment. Really dope. What up? We here. Chicago. We in here. What's up? Yeah, I don't even got to introduce you. We not even going to do all this shit. We just going to get straight into it. The hottest shit in the world right now. <sighs> Let's jump right in. We saw you and your wife out at Disney. Next, we see reports of a battery charge as a result of your wife being sexually assaulted. Wifey okay? What happened? How important is it for you to protect your loved ones? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just... Uh, what's the question you want? How important it is, or what happened? Now, what happened? What's the What's the story? Because you got security and you a shot tell nigga. Yeah, it's like my wife is walking to the bathroom at the chateau, and then the this guy. So this wasn't at Disney, because I think everybody think this happened at Disney. Oh well, well let's not let's not kill the magic. <laughs> <laughs> So it's this happened better. at Disney. <laughs> yeah, well, well, let's um, well, we don't have to make it as specific then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll no, say, sure. you know, this this guy just grabbed my wife, and then she just, I didn't see it directly, and she started just explaining to me what happened. So then I walked over and found him, and then I'm talking to security, different security, like not not just. The security that'd be with me, but other security like, okay, let's get this guy just escorted out or something. You know, it's like, <laughs> look, man, I just don't want to. Um, and I talk to the guy. I say, yo, I need you to just, you just need to leave right now. He's like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. It'd be, it's like, no, it's not okay. <laughs> it wasn't okay. Then, then he saw it wasn't okay. He had to go to bed early. Tuck this nigga in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh- so is he, he might still be sleeping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shot town. I can't. I don't know what happened. <laughs> he still. He just sleep though. He had to go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mm-hmm. man. We gonna take it mm-hmm. over to this rap beef, man. This is the most entertaining rap beef in a few years. You got Future, Metro, Drake, Kendrick, yeah. J Cole, Ross. Chris Brown, Quavo, The Weeknd. Yeah. What The Weeknd doing? What happened? I mean, Drake and his people taking shots at The Weeknd. They not really feeling how uh, he's fucking with Metro. You know what I'm saying? Because they all from Canada. Yeah. Um, I feel like you started this shit, though. It all started from, I feel like, your Instagram post when you was just like, fuck everybody. And everybody's like, you know what? It's up. We all just mm-hmm. going at each other. We tired yeah. of all the friendly shit. Uh. What's your thoughts on the state of hip hop right now? It's great. It's great for me, you know. <laughs> it's like I'm always on that time. You know, sometimes I you know, you see I put the Instagram up. I there's nobody finna play with me. I, I done been through too much of this shit. I done made more money than anybody ever make at this shit. Have more <laughs> like hits, made my own Jordan, fucked every bitch. Like so it's like I don't, I don't care. I invented, like I said, I invented every style and shit. So it's shit, this shit fun to me, you know. But I'm, I'm really into the idea, you know. It's with Drake. That's the whole thing. It's like morality and likability are not, uh, not connected. They're usually the opposite. Right. Usually, the most immoral people are the ones that are the most likable. So if I say. I like Drake. It's not because he's a good person. It's because I like him. <laughs> <Right>. You understand? <laughs> yeah. I like. I like. I got like for everybody. You know, I'm not gonna say love because you got the love that that's gonna weaken you. That compromises you. So I got right. like for everyone, right? And it's just. I think this is a beautiful time. You know, it's like we saving the world. Like you take Drake and Lucian out, that just alters everything because that's such a control thing they had, the algorithm, the way that they work together to fix the numbers and all that. You know, uh, they got they, they so have them two working together. 
Absolutely. Like, it's like we're going to name this nigga after a dragon, some demonic shit, like yeah. Drake and all this type of shit. Like, we're going to change your name, actor, and do this and shit. Because it's like, you know, in a heart of hearts, like, whether it's like Tubbs and this and that, all the Canada, they love yay and yeah. shit. And, I, and I'm, I'm invincible. Like, even if I died, I wouldn't die and shit. <laughs> right. I'm like, so... And it's, I'm tired of this nigga fucking with me and all this shit, man. So the fact that these niggas is coming together finally, because it's not just about the elimination of Drake, you know, it's like, right. like we're going to tear the head off whoever they got that they thought was in control of all this shit. Like, look at this. It's like, they running the numbers. They running on radio. They got the smash. And then, you know, it's like, now they not playing Lil Wayne no more because he ain't, um, you know, he's not directly connected with Lucy and then they go right. and like buy the cash money shit out then they like pick and choose who they want oh we're gonna have Migos one week and then we're gonna have um, Future this thing we have two chains this that and they always pick somebody <laughs> oh now we're gonna have 21 Savage you know what I'm yeah. saying it's like they always pick somebody from Atlanta I'm from Atlanta I was born in Atlanta right whatever you know how did so, that even happen though like yeah. I mean before we even get into what happened who is Lucian Grange? Like, who is he? Because people don't know who he is, and I feel like you have to he's be just, higher up to know exactly who he is, and you have got to that level. He's still higher. He's still a higher gun. He's just like a like a nigga handler. Like he just control like uh, Universal. He run it for him, but he ain't like he ain't no overboss or nothing okay, like so that. He's he not like, no, he not no billionaire nigga. Like yeah. Yeah, I mean, but, <laughs> you know, yeah, but he like got it. a billion, you know what I'm saying? His money is like infinite. It's just a, it's a form of energy, it's a tool <laughs> and shit, you know? Right. It's like, but he is someone who, in the constructs of where, uh, where niggas have been placed, you know, Native Americans, all the combination, because my grandmother's Indian, like, right. you know what I'm saying? They don't put that in the schools that they indoctrinate us into, because you know you chief, then you know you chief. They ain't going to teach you that you chief. They're going to, like, give you a contract, rap contract. Basketball contracts say you king, but you only king to a certain limit mm. as long as you don't get out of line. Okay. You king type shit. So No, for sure. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Kendrick <laughs> dropped the like that verse. Drake dropped the push ups just a minute ago. He put it on all DSP, so he's really yeah. standing on his disc. Yeah. Have you heard both of them? Yes, I heard it. What do you think Kendrick's gonna do now? Do you think he got some shit for Drake? Who do you think wins that? I battle? win. I got some shit for Drake and don't nobody want it with me. Hold up, what you mean you got some shit for Drake? That's a, you got of some course. shit for Drake? It's all like right now, like you got some shit ready for Drake. Like, Can we listen to the shit you got for I Drake? I shit on him. Fuck him. Like I told you, I I I I put the shit in, I said, fuck this nigga. It's fuck this nigga. And I like him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's like it, it's 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 always like fuck this nigga, the little slick shit he be doing, fuck all that. And that's what it is. But I did yeah. do this uh, Like That remix, though. I think that's what you was one to lead oh, into shit. and shit. Let me see. You got the um, Like That remix. I don't believe Ye jumped on the Like That remix. You know we had to get the hooligans up here. We're going to take this pussy nigga out. Yo, Dot, I got you. He was once a thug from a Oh, my God. <laughs> You're hearing it first on the download. Just the boy respectfully Ye, nigga. Oh, my God. It's up. Uh, Stop, won't stop. I just fucked your bitch in the Shaw John tank top. <laughs> Be the bad bitch. Oh, 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 o
Lifetime deal like a bad for niggas. Bad for niggas. Y'all so out of sight, out of mind. Oh my I can't god, you hearing it first? Drake line. Like that Drake remix? Cole, get the pussy dry. Play yeah. this shit back 130 times. Yeah, don't deal with selling dope. Like that. Wow! Yeah, like future back together. Yeah, like Kendrick you back rapping together. Like if you like niggas from the bottom really like that. If you like Damn. That. Damn. The the Metro list, drums like are still that. hitting, huh? <laughs> Here it go. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. You heard it here first on the download. Damn, yeah. What yeah, ma- yeah, hold on, hold on. How, how did this even come about? Who called who? I, I need the story behind this. This shit is crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. Pluto, Pluto wow. called me. I went to the studio, laid that, and then we, um, you know, went through the, you know, the creative process, adding the chords, and called the hooligans, called them out in London to get on a joint. And, you know, everybody was very, very excited about the elimination of Drake. Yo, we were not excited. I, we was energized. I mean, <laughs> listen, man, it's a, lot, it's a lot to take in. Cause, like you said, you like people. You and mm. Drake was neighbors once upon a time. Yeah, not together. that wasn't my choice. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was my choice. Y'all was friends. He was your little bro at, at one point. Y'all, y'all was. I'm just. As far as I seen from the outside looking in, I need a massage somewhere on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Did the Hoover concert together? Me and the rest of the world thought y'all were back cool. What happened after that? Like, what happened after that to where y'all didn't? Because I thought once that concert it, happened, it cuts Drake's soul. It's like he signed a, uh, his soul to the devil to not. Be cool with me to have to like this is his job to go against God. Wow. Wow. And it cuts his soul. But what is it specifically about Drake that everyone hates? God, I just I just have to know that because it's like for everybody, all of the great you, Weekend, Pluto, Metro, Ross, Kendrick. Like, Kendrick. Yeah. Like there's something obviously wrong with this one individual that no one wants to speak about and i feel like you're the only person that's gonna really put it out there hey you say rich baby daddy it's like drake has a rich baby daddy named lucian and universal wow <laughs> he's like you know like man my daddy got it you know what i'm saying it's like wow. my daddy controlled the spins my daddy got the dsps my daddy drake wow. has a rich baby daddy Named so, Lucian. So all of his streams in the number ones <laughs> is controlled by someone named Lucian. Well, Lucian worked for people who control the banks in Africa who keep, you know. Oh, my God. Think about it. download. We had Black Wall Street. We had Harlem. We've been gingified, and we ain't really been pulled together since other than to maintain what they call the black vote, which you ain't really, you don't have an opinion in that vote. And then they get all these celebrities. They go on TV like, ah, you know, we uh, we got a problem with his political opinion. He's out of control. He's bipolar. He's anti-Semite. He's whatever they want to call somebody to try to get people to not listen or have, you know, take away the influence. But look, it's just, I'm God. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I'm, I'm back here again. I'm letting Talk y'all know what shit. it is. It's like, it's not, it ain't even shit. It's like, this is what it is. I'm, I'm, I've returned, you know? Yeah. There you have it. Yay is the goat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just change the AT to a D. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> He's God. <laughs> You on your yeah. real god level shit, mm-hmm. you stand mm-hmm. on it. So how yeah. you feel when people like Ross get involved in this shit? Like, do you, have you been keeping up with that part, or are you just on some shit like I'm God? You know, I said the like and love. It's like I actually, I would say I, I love Ross. It's certain people I like, and certain people I love. I understand that says that's you know sort of you know Ross. You know, at that point, I've, I've extended that level of a branch to say like, man, I really got love for Ross. And it's like you know I, I don't I haven't been keeping up like that. I was, they, they they call me you know I'm sitting mm. up there sitting in heaven and shit and then they they say God come <laughs> God come uh, come hop on this and shit. And it's like here we go the voice of God 
<laughs> yeah, no, how, 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 how does that make you feel, though, like knowing you're that great? Because you had Carnival, that was number one. Mm -hmm. and then the next number one after that, then they call you to be a part of what I believe is going to be another number one. Does that make you... Yeah, it, it, it feels good. You know, I had come, you know, I have to come, I had to come and do my job. Right when I heard it, I was like, yo, Kendrick shifted the energy. You know what I mean? Like, we brought out Vultures, number one, Carnival's number one. It was like it was our birthday every day. Yeah. Then they, they had this, like, Metro, what he did with the beat. You know how I you know, feel about Pluto, most influential. Yeah, yeah. And then you got Kendrick on it, too. Like, like people hit me like, listen to this right here. And I was like, okay, they shifted the energy. It's like we had to get get to work. Yeah. So I'm up here working, and I just get like the the back call or the like, <laughs> like yo, get on. It's like word. It's like, it's up. You know, life is like life is made for me to win. You no, know? oh, man, we 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 love mm -hmm. that. But you know, before we change um, subjects, J Cole apologized to Kendrick. Fuck all that pussy shit. Oh, shit. Fuck all that shit. Yeah, you have it. Yo, fuck all that shit, man. Because it's like, that nigga J. Cole went on tour Drake. He know what it is. It's like, nigga, you can't run now. It's you also. All this like... It's up for, it's up for Cole, too? It, if you say Cole, you can't say up and Cole in the same sentence. Oh, it's my like, it's God. Like, it's, <laughs> it's Are like, apologies even allowed in rap beef, though? I don't know. I've man. never seen no shit like I that just before. Don't, I don't. I don't listen to J Cole, so I wouldn't even know. I just heard he had a song called "False Idols" and told me. Somebody told me it's halfway about me, so it's like that. You know. Wow. There, there you got it, man. Yeah. When we talk about music, we're gonna always talk about the goat. Ye's the goat. I mean, mm. the only one who got the raps, the production, just just everything that embodies this shit. The money, man. the taste. Oh, the money. Yo, why Yo. nobody, hold on, hold on. Why nobody ever beefed about, like, Ross and Drake arguing about money in houses. Why nobody ever came at you about money? Because I made the most and we're going to make the most again. You know, that's what it is. It's <laughs> like, like, everybody yeah. leave Ye alone when it comes yeah. to money. What? And then it's like, I got my mind. They try to throw me out my mind. They try to medicate me. They try to, they really try to physically take me off of this planet and I'm, I'm here. Like, you got the... All that bipolar and the medication and turning me fat and all the reputation shit, that's like Tupac shot up in the elevator. So You're now looking healthy right now, it, too, though. Exactly. I know. Yeah. Exactly. I'm, you know, it's... you in shape, nigga. Yeah. It's yeah. up. Man, we're going to mm -hmm. move on to the next subject. Once again, this is the Download Podcast. My co-host today, the greatest living mm -hmm. artist, the greatest living human. Yeah, you niggas cannot afford him to even do anything. It's my brother though. He pulled up. <laughs> we 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 moving on now. We got the mm -hmm. NBA. We got gambling. Gay doesn't really watch much TV, but we're gonna run this by him. There's a Toronto Raptor player named John Tay Porter. He received a lifetime ban from the NBA for violating gambling rules. Is it hypocrisy that the NBA promotes gambling through platforms like prize picks and fan duels, but a ban a nigga for trying to get his money up while he's on an NBA minimum contract? Imagine you get banned for life. Fuck the NBA. Mm. There you have it. Hey, you know my feelings about that. They just controlling niggas. They like, you know, um, like the house in the hood where you learn to play basketball, the same people that own that house own the house that you get if you make it to the NBA. Mm. Let you get out of line, they're going to send you back to that <laughs> old house. But if you while you're in line, they're like, oh, you could buy a house for your mom. You could buy a house for your family. And most people... Most people gonna stay in, in line on that. They you know they control by the the money on mm -hmm. that. You know that's what it is. Okay. NBA is cool. You know I'm happy to been able to see Michael Jordan when I was growing up, and that was inspiring up to a certain level. But okay, know. yeah, there you have it. Yeah, he says fuck the NBA. I remember seeing Kobe at a ski resort after I made new slaves. And he said that's all we are is high priced slaves. Wow. You know what I'm saying, but. A police, placebos and nocebos, you, 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 what a man think he is. So, you know, we not the slaves. We, we are the kingdom, and I'm the head of the kingdom. Yeah, mm -hmm. how does it feel to be the head of the kingdom? It always felt good, but, you know, just to, like, plant your feet there and know that we run this shit and Lucy don't, don't run this shit, and it's the same spirit of, of Mike and Prince, Kendrick. Like, this the spirit. This this is what we on. You know, this is what we on. You know, this is what I'm on. Period. Ain't nobody scared of nothing. We done been through everything, and that's it. Nobody better play with me. Like, mm. for instance, 
Dirk sent in a, a verse and it said, he said, take my Yeezy shirt off and make it a domat. And he Lil said Dirk. it four times. Yeah, Lil Dirk said this. I hit him up. I said, you know, you're breaking my heart. Wow. Who told you? To do this, I'm like, wow. I don't, I don't know if it's a legal thing that happened, and I'm trying to sit with the man. I'm like, man, this is bad for the city. Who told you to do this, bro? It's wow. just like when J Cole did the diss track or whatever. It's like it's one thing you got Drake. It's like he's really paid to come and and do whatever he does and should come on my neck, all this type of shit. Right. But it's another thing for somebody like that to come around you. It's like why you that's all the whole friends enemy kind of talk and shit. Like But Dirk was on vultures though. Yeah and but he was rocking what you say so you're telling me he really not rocking with you? He must have never really liked me or whatever. I don't know exactly what it is, but I, I spoke to this man a few times about you know, the line, then he changed the line. Then he changed the line to, I take my Yeezy hat off and give my little hoe that. And I'm just like, why y'all think y'all could play with me? See, they think I'm like, oh, this he's going to get hyped up. Let's watch him. Like, my, people try to, like, take your kids and, you know, give you a rap bar, yeah. say some lines. Yo, it's like. Are you disappointed in Dirk? Honestly, like, let's, let's be real. Like, you my brother. Are you disappointed in Dirk? I'm not disappointed. It's like, man, niggas is like, yo, y'all should meet up. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really listen to that much rap. No way. I don't know nobody. No fuck. <laughs> I don't know nobody fucking raps, man. I don't even know my own raps. I'm fucking put a mask on. I ain't grab a microphone. I don't. I don't. I don't listen to that shit, man. Yeah. Period. I don't listen to nothing, man. I'm just God. Period. That's what you want. You stand <laughs> on that. Cause you have to feel it. You know. Obviously, we spoke about Drake earlier. Dirk. Went from vultures to on tour with Drake. You ain't you didn't feel no way about Dirk. I mean, you could be like we could be vulnerable with each other. That shit was heartbreaking to you, bro. No, nah, it didn't break my. I ain't had enough heart into it for it to break my heart. It wasn't wow. that. It wasn't that much. Of it. But it didn't break my heart. But when they sent in over these verses and saying like I cut my yeast, I can't even like. I want to say. It was unbelievable, but at this point, you know, <laughs> any and everything is possible. Anything and everything is possible. So it's whatever, man, you know. Right. Okay. So my next question <laughs> is, are industry plants really a thing? Because we hear about Illuminati, industry plants. Are industry plants really a thing? And yeah. if so, can you give me an example? Because you be talking about people that are plants. I need you to really describe what an industry plant is and who's like the head of the industry plants. I don't really know who that they they never let me in on it. It's like people do cocaine, they go to the bathroom, they don't they don't invite me because I don't do cocaine and shit, you know. So all the and it's like they probably see like, oh this nigga got the spirit of his dad. This he he not gonna be controlled or moved by money. It's like when people go to the league, it's uh it's um if you if your dad is too far in your life, and I know they promote the Steph Curry shit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. they don't pick people whose fathers are too much in their life, you know, mm -hmm. because they're less controllable. Because Absolutely. the thing about a, a woman is a caretaker, so they're gonna be like um, more uh, controlled by the idea of having the food on their plate now. Yeah. So if you do the welfare system, take the fathers out their home. And then give welfare, especially if you got five kids in the home. Now the welfare is in control. Mm. Now Instagram is in control. Now wow. TikTok is in control. Now Reddit is in control. Now Snapchat is in control. Wow. Now just the idea of likes and all that is, it has a certain amount of control. Right. And you get the kings and the chiefs and all that. You try to tear down a reputation. You try to come and take them, lock them up. Anybody who ain't play by the rules or play by the, the game or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And when you say you wasn't invited to these parties, obviously Cat Williams and talked about these parties. People have mentioned- I don't know if it's a party. I'm saying that metaphorically. You know what I'm saying? But but you've heard about the parties that everyone are talking about, but you've never got invited to them. So you I don't know. Really... Part, I don't know. I don't even know what the party. That's how far out of it I am. I don't know. But the people call me Illuminati too. It's like, call me what? Okay, cool. I'm Illuminati. Whatever it is. It's like, <laughs> whatever the fuck, I don't care. I really yeah. don't give a... F yeah, I yeah. really don't give a fuck. There you have it. 
What made you drop vultures during that time specifically? And what was it about the whole situation? Because listen, you can say what you want, but I know there's a reason why you did that when you did it. Can we speak about that today? Fate. Mm. Astrology. No, not fate, but astrology. That was a good date. It's like the you can't deny it. You just can't deny astrology. People go give you like all these dates for whatever religion they want to shove on us and shit like that. But you just can't just just follow the dates. When God shit come, God, that's what it is. Yeah. You know, especially because it ain't one on no label where they could turn it down no more. They've been turn. They've been trying to turn it down since Taylor Swift. Right. You know, that's why I say since Taylor Swift, since I had the Rolly on the wrist, I'm the new Jesus, bitch. I turned water to Chris. This mm. for what they did to Chris. They can't do shit with this. Wow. Because Chris Chris is a god, you know. That's uh I mean Who's look Chris? At Chris Brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look for what they did to Chris. That's what, what I mean. Yeah. You, you think you think we're gonna ever just you we we could be honest. Is one of your goals to perform at the Super Bowl halftime at any point? I Obviously you're own, not like nice own. enough to be like considered, but is that like a childhood goal? Of yours to yeah, perform but who sets the goals? Who says you want to be like Christ or like Mike? Who sets those goals for you? You know what I'm saying? All of these are like forms of uh, brainwashing. I just lean lean right. into the opportunities. You said you wanna you wanna run this this interview, and you know what it is. Since the day we met, we've been on that like always on that time. Yeah, always on that time. And yeah. we the programmers because humans is the real iPhones. No, for sure. So the people that can. You know, say have you like saying a line over and over, or singing something, or you see a way somebody is dressed or colorway, or even like the way uh, a girl is shaped or something, or a new car shape. That that that's the new form of programming now with this. You know, with the World Wide Web, it's like yeah. that international influence. Why somebody want to pull up? Why somebody want to go to Dubai? Why they want to go to Japan? Right. Why they want to come to America? All those ideas. Why they want to see something on TikTok? All of those ideas, that influence, we sit in it, and somehow, some way, I'm still sitting here at the head of it. The, the top, yeah. number one albums, number one singles, the greatest. Number, number one bitch. You know, my bitch, oh, is, oh, the, my oh, bitch is the most I influential bitch that, on the planet. But yeah, she's the my most, wife. Well, your yeah. wife is the, yeah. is the best dress. Yeah. She's like the best, face. best undressed. Oh shit! I can't speak. On that. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot speak on that. But okay, yeah. your wife, the mm -hmm. best dressed, best undressed. Mm -hmm. Every woman you get with is the best dressed and undressed at that time. Am I right? Am I wrong? I cannot deny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Mm -hmm. If you take the two best dressed and undressed women that ever been in your life, matter of fact, fuck that. I'm a straight shooter. You, your wife, who's one other woman y'all gonna have a threesome with? You can pick anyone in the world. There's just one person. I th I think I know what you're thinking, but I'm not even gonna say no names. I just want to see what you would think. Michelle Obama. <laughs> 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 Gotta fuck the president's wife. <laughs> I don't think that's the legit answer, but that's the answer for today. <laughs> Music festivals dying down. I think the way you're doing these listening events are really destroying festivals. I think they're destroying live concerts because people are really seeing something new mm -hmm. and they're falling in love with it. Because mm -hmm. I've been to a lot of concerts and performances and the, and the artists or whatever might say two or three random things, but they don't finish the verse. Coachella, this is the first time I've ever seen no one speak about Coachella. <laughs> Where? How do you think Coachella has died down? Like, What do these music festivals have to do to become more important to artists like yourself? Hand them over to me. I'll take care of it. Wow. Imagine Coachella being ran by Ye. And then another Movie. thing, Uzi performed at Coachella. Did you see him voguing and shit and dancing and doing what he do? I know you fuck with Uzi. So like is that just like a form of like artist expression and, 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 and what is that about? Yeah, I think it could be artist expression or something. It's like 
people, you know, even think about like when I was growing up, black people never did gay jokes, and then mm. but white dudes would do gay jokes and shit. It'd just be like a joke to them and shit. So I don't know. It's like niggas could be judge. I mean, um, joking or whatever. <laughs> it's like I'm not just. I'm not. You know, God is placing no uh, no judgment right. right now. No, for sure. No, because I like work with gay people. I like no, you will hi- hire them and uh, you know. I had gay people that are my friends, so it'd be funny because somebody, you know, they'll hang with gay people and they'll say something else that's like homophobic or, you know, we'll use the word fag to try to like right. diss somebody. We'll just say faggot to like, um, you know, straight person. Like, yeah, yeah. faggot. But how do you want to, like, fuck you, fuck you, faggot, fuck your mother, yeah. uh, I just fucked your bitch. Whatever it is people want to say. And it's just like, I think a lot of that stuff is just... It's having less impact. The right. words, all these words, like people said, look at us. Look at all the words that were said to me or you, and we're here able to talk. Look right. at all this shit that froze my accounts. They didn't, you know, yeah. I don't, you know. How, yeah. how, how did you mm-hmm. survive through the frozen accounts? Like, I always, like, go I, back to I when just, it started to now. I just, like, had, I just had way more money than they thought. Wow. <laughs> shit. So they freezing shit at the bank, but there's real life money going on. Yeah, I just had way more money. I could hold my breath longer. I make money. I have more money. It's like I'm untouchable. They can't fucking stop me. They can't kill me. I got the people. No matter, there's nothing I could do or say to lose the people in this lifetime and shit. There's nothing wow. no one could do or say against me. This shit is just I, like ice in the veins. Like when my son hit the three pointers. Oh ice my God. Veins. I seen him yeah. too. I yeah. seen him too. Yeah. The genetics is real. It genetics really is, is a yeah. real thing. When you see yeah. him, you see your kids. Yeah. Do you? They be talking all that shit. It's like we could show <laughs> that. <laughs> <It's> like, mm. <laughs> no, for real. I mean, me and you was on. I don't mean to flex. Me and you was on the jet, and I asked you who was your favorite rapper, not the greatest rapper, but who was your favorite rapper. But it it it, it changes. It changes. It switches. So at that like, time, like, you said Twenty One Savage. Who's bro. your favorite rapper it's today? Also, also Kodak. Uh, let me let me see who who did I just hear recently? I was like, man, uh, it's this new rapper out of Baltimore named Moose. Moose. We, yeah, we working Shout with out the Moose, Baltimore. Uh, let me see. Yeah, your favorite rapper right now. But I told you I ain't even listen to music. Man. I'm too busy like getting money. Gent. And uh, that's Yo, what you, you want so me to say. <laughs> I like you talk this money shit. Talk this money I shit. I really, really, really am too busy getting money to listen to too much music and shit. You know, and sometimes I sit back and enjoy myself after enough money's been got. Yeah. You know? So that's where you at yeah. right now. Yeah, but also it's not just the getting the money, it's like we provide a service for the people. That's that's how we get the money. That's how we put ourselves in like the Carlos Slam, Pablo, Chapo, Putin right. position, the Vatican position, Black Rock position, the government, U.S. government, Chinese government position. That's, that's how we do it. And, and it's even that was nothing. So we might as well do that. You're either the colonizer or you're getting colonized, mm, period. Talk your right? shit. That's yeah. a download. I yeah. mean, mm-hmm. you know, obviously you're mm-hmm. independent now. Nobody mm-hmm. owns you. Nobody controls you. No one could tell you what the fuck to do. How challenging is that? Because, you know, obviously me, I like study the Yeezy religion. Mm-hmm. I watch everything everybody's talking about. Mm-hmm. And I feel like after the Super Bowl, so much product was moved mm-hmm. that... Shit can't get to you fast enough, but that's part of being a startup that people got to understand. What are some of the challenges that you face now? Are oh, you talking about you talking about like sending out? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like, like delivery, shipping, the new factory. This ain't. The pile, yeah, but we like, we will be Amazon in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Good things come to those that wait. This is art. You know, you part of a, a startup. Uh, you part you part of an investment into the future. So people right. have even post something negative. They part of the. The, then ain't no takedown. It's just a slowdown. Mm. They did you just you just on the wrong side of the future. Wow. If you posting something negative, you just on the wrong side of the future. Because you know we we out here 
stepping away from Adidas, like the shit that Kai sent to my, that's some industry plant shit. Yeah, he going yeah. he gonna be talking yeah, shit about it. my pants. That's so so he's then, an industry plant. He's it, an of course he's the opposite. Totally the fucking that exact genre is the most industry plants. It's about like influence and mind control. And then he gonna mention my daughter's name a week later. It's like nigga, that don't mention my daughter's name and then you you dissing what's paying a two hundred thousand dollar a month Child support. Wow. That's the... The billionaire child support is different. Yeah, but it's like, don't mention this and then mention my daughter's name. It's like, it be that kind of shit where I'm like, that don't make God happy. Wow. Yeah. I mean, God don't like that. Man, he don't (laughs) like that. I mean, (laughs) you know, music. Vultures 2. Is Vultures Mm. 2 coming out? When is it coming out? It's it's coming out May 3rd. May 3rd, for sure. Stamp. Yeah. There you have it. Vultures 2 coming out. May fucking 3rd. Now, I want to speak about relationships. This is one of my favorite topics. Athletes, rappers, all the rich niggas is fucking the same 20 bitches. <laughs> Why do you think <laughs> niggas is fucking all of the same bitches? Is it because they understand and the those, lifestyle? And, like, what is that and about? No, and those bitches is fucking the same 20 niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Man. It be like that. It be like that. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to get on random hot topics now. We're on the download. My co-host, Ye, is here. He's in the building. Shout out to Kodak Black. He slowed down on the drugs, and he's feeling happier and gaining a sense of char- a, a sense of clarity. Why don't none of the real OGs step in to help any of these young niggas in the game that's doing whatever they want? Is it like, like, like what is that about? I let really dope answer this. Really dope. Why why niggas like you don't mm. step in and help none of the young niggas that's coming up? I mean, well, we do from time to time. I mean, but I mean, how can you control any of them? Right. I mean, when majority of my brain watched by the system. Right. Bar. Mm. Wow. <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. My shot town niggas is here. Yeah. God speaks. Yeah. God has oh. spoken. Wow. Man, yay. Obviously, we got to always speak about Big Pharma versus real drugs on the streets. That's always like a topic that you always, you know, like how's Big Pharma crippling society with everybody being medicated and all of this shit? Like, you know, obviously you you have a story. Yeah, I went through different kinds of medication that just wasn't accurate. It's a matter like, you know, you send doctors out that's just throwing certain kind of pills of people getting addicted like I was finna be addicted to fentanyl basic based off of the drugs they was giving me so I, I had that experience and it's just having the sensitivity like us human beings are uh we the most you know complicated machines and if someone goes in to work on a jet engine or a computer People don't give that same kind of care. And these are the doctors, you right. know, especially in uh, lower income neighborhoods. It's like they want to they want to tear through uh, America, weaken it, then rebuy it and take it back over. So you got like spots where food insecurities where, you know, it could be a kid with a uh, what is this food card? And it's an right. EBD card or something like that. Do you know about this? It's like. What they call? It's like this. No, EBT cards. It's EBT cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Link EBT cards. Link cards, EBT yeah. cards, and then yeah. like it's like when a family member, somebody is drug addict, go take that shit from them. Then kids be out here homeless yeah. and shit. It's just like, but you know, we have we have the plans and are working on the plans and just how to put together the best individuals to revitalize our land. Right, you gotta understand. When I say our land. I'm talking about our land, like native. Yeah. Us as the natives, our land. Had us run the right way. It's all, it's all beat up. You know, you know why it's beat up. You know who beat yeah. it up. You know what it is. Like. <laughs> Absolutely, man. My next topic is Young Jeezy. Obviously, as somebody you collaborated with and you fuck with, he's trying to get legal custody of his daughter. He's only allowed to see her eight times a year. As a dad, I know you sympathize with him on this matter. Is there, you know, obviously you've been through this shit at the highest level. Yeah, you know, it's like we speak on it, but we're not in a position to do anything about it. Or we haven't placed ourselves. We need to put ourselves 
and the power to be able to police ourselves mm. better. Because right now, we're just running through the system. Like, when I do things, they're like, I can't even believe he's alive. Like, yeah. I'm taking, you know, life chances just to be myself, just to express myself. You know, I could speak on him. He could speak on me. I know when I was having issues seeing my kids, everyone speak up on my T-shirt, White Lives Matter T-shirt. They speak up on a red hat, the pro-Trump hat. <laughs> and then, uh, but ain't nobody speaking up on whether I'm seeing my kids or not. So, you know, anybody that spoke up on those things, you know, it's, that's what it is. They was put up to do that. But can't nobody pull me to the side, period. But it's, uh, you know... Uh, we gotta. We have to put ourselves in a position to be able to control our families. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The I way mean, Jewish people control their family. You know, this I, I, this is my thing is my um my relationship with the Jews. I don't. I'm friends with some Jews. I'm not friends with some Jews. Right. It's whether people come up to me talking, ask me questions, tell me go come to Shabbat dinner for about eight hundredth time and shit. Like nobody got no, <laughs> nobody got no problem. Like I said, it, I, you know, I said what I said. Yeah. I said what I said. And ain't nobody said nothing. Where where my apology or oh, what I was saying was just completely non factual. So y'all gonna gaslight me then? But wow. I'm I'm one of I'm one of many people that had the same issue. No one would talk about why my accounts got a fro got frozen. Wow. Right. That ain't that. They just like, oh, re apologize. Mm. Re apologize. Re apologize. You don't get the fuck up out of. Bro, I said what I said. I'm standing on what I stand on. And I'm not having none of that. Nobody playing with me. Nobody telling me what the fuck apologize. Nobody fucking wow. coming, you know, trying to tax and all that shit. Like, man, let's have a conversation about what it really is. How these contracts is too complicated. How they running. That's why I say fuck the NBA. It ain't fuck the players in the NBA. It's fuck the construct mm. of the NBA and fuck what we playing for. You know what I'm saying? It's like people made Jordan do a whole documentary. And the main bar, think about this, What's the Health? The whole What's the Health documentary, it wasn't about, you know, meat. It was yeah. about this idea of promoting sugar. If you look at the documentary, it's a moment when they say, oh, I don't see nothing wrong with sugar. The whole Jordan documentary was just for him to say, Oh, the worst thing I ever did was try to go to the Wizards. That's when he went wow. to buy the team. Yes. They want to put that in your mind. Mm -hmm. That's the best thing Jordan ever did was going by that team. Because yeah. like Farrakhan said, America's to be sold. They're going to talk us out of it. Buy these diamonds, you know what I'm saying, before you buy your, buy your land. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Say, buy these cars before you do this, before you buy a ranch. I got 13,000 acres. He said, we didn't even get to that. We didn't get to the $60 million Malibu house when mm. they was trying to send me in a bankruptcy. You had people in my own company selling, stealing hundreds of millions of dollars right under my nose, acting like they my friends and shit. You know what I'm saying? But God sees everything. God will expose, you know, and I see, now I see a lot, now I see everything. And, and you know, I, I win. I won. I'll, I'll run this motherfucker. Wow. So. No, the, the the way you talking, that, that the the one thing that stood out was the real estate. Yeah, you know, if you somebody that's getting real money, like how important was it for you? Everybody tried to play like you was crazy, but you yeah. got that real estate. Yeah, but, but you got that money. Because the whole thing is like one of the things I liked about the money is it proves that. People are controlling you with the idea of crazy. Are you crazy for the red hat? You crazy for going to Adidas? You crazy for leaving Adidas? You crazy for this? crazy that? Man, no one on planet Earth could tell me shit about fuck or fuck about shit. Fuck all you. And I'm shitting on anybody who ever say shit to me about anything. Oh, my want No one's suggestion. At this wow. point, I am God. No one can suggest shit to me. Period. Wow. You can't tell my daughter to come say shit to me about Jesus. You can't tell me. It's fuck everything. I'm a, I bought the land so I could rebuild the way we're supposed to exist. Wow. Our city should look more like ant colonies. It should be like, and then run the, run the video of the ant colony. Mm. That, that's the design. The design's right there in front of us. But all this other stuff has been designed by industries and markets to make things more com complicated, they invented, the car industry invented the suburbs. No. Ripped I've, up the train tracks. You know, it's all how to make money. You ain't, don't nothing good happen till midday, nothing. No, no way. So why are we like working at 6 a.m.? So, at my, at Yeezy, we just made it. People don't even come in to 12 o'clock now. Wow. Dear, 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 you have it. I mean, how important is politics and all of this shit that got going on? Like, who's the president? What's the power that the president have? 
Like, do you vote? Do you give a fuck who's running for president? Like, what what, what does this shit I mean, even mean to the world? Because it, it's, uh, it's election year. It's all like everything's entertainment. This is all entertainment. Who's got the influence? You know, this idea of the black vote. This vote is like what it means. All the complications. That's entertainment. That I'm gonna just tell you some sh- real simple shit. God runs the world. I am God. I run the world. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make that very clear. <laughs> all right, man. We moving on. The next hottest topic is one of, you know, somebody that you call. Why that why that be so funny to you? It's like, I know it'd be like make you feel uncomfortable, right? It's like when they came in and just like <laughs> nigga put the gun on the table and then start laughing. They know the gun's on the table. It's really there, type shit. You know what I'm saying? This is really God. This is really the whatever many times I don't have the information how many times I've been here, but it's really that. Like, all right. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um something that I personally wanted to ask you about was the the disappointment or the hurt of Pusha T. I mean, you know, you cooked, you chopped, you, you put the beast together, you 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 put him in position. What's your whole thought or situation with Pusha T? I, I I gotta ask you, bro. Like we we gotta speak on that one. Where where do you stand with Pusha? Have y'all spoken lately? What's the whole situation with, with with Pusha T. I just talked to Pusha the other day. It was it was good to talk to him and I Pusha's is like the first time talking to him? Yeah, it's the first time I talked to him a couple months and stuff. But I mean we made good music together. There was a thing like I love to chop for like this genre of rapper, whether it's Jay Z, what whatever it is, like back in Chicago, like payroll, it was like a rapper I used to chop up for and I like to you know I, I would legal chops like chopping music legally, right. and um, uh, you know I thought that somehow because I like made beats and made music for somebody that when I couldn't see you know my children, right. that these people use their platform because I use my platform on their behalf. I just, now I realize like no one owes me anything, but mm-hmm. there's more than enough people to still get what you need to get done without anyone. Wow. And ain't no wow. one person that's going to stop me from what I'm doing either. So if you depend on somebody who is not giving you what you need, you're the one that's in the wrong. If you call on somebody, they don't pick up. They ain't pick up, bro. What wow. you going to just keep on, you know? And that's that attachment. You got to get detached. That's why I said by the time we got to like... Lil Dirk sending those songs, playing with me on that song like that. that. I was like, shit, all right, that detach Dirk, you. That, that Dirk shit really is bothering you. No, I'm, it's not. That my whole thing is it doesn't bother me as much. I'm using it as an oh, example. Okay. If I was, you know, back then, maybe it could have bothered me. It's almost yeah. like he got sent over, get out of here, you bother me. Like It's yeah, almost yeah, like yeah. he got sent over to bother me. Like, <laughs> fuck, a, fuck a me too, bitch. Fuck fucking apologies. Fuck Jamie Diamond in the in the press. Fuck all this idea of the black vote. Yeah. Fuck people telling me who I could vote on. Yeah. When black people tell me who I can vote on. Twenty twenty four. Who we voting on? <laughs> if I if I go if I go to the polls, I most likely I would I wouldn't vote on the Democrats. You know, obviously <laughs> it would be it would be Trump no. for sure. No, for sure, man. Um, the state of music in twenty twenty four. Do album sales? still matter to you because obviously Um, this shit doesn't come across as like sales really matter anymore you know what i'm saying like once upon a time people were selling a million first week or two million first week or five hundred thousand that doesn't change the impact of the music what's your thoughts on first album sales and just album sales in general um that shit fake think about the uh Taylor Swift got 300 million, 500 million followers. Right. Like, okay, so when I put the Super Bowl commercial up, and we got 3 million people came to the website. It's right. not even the 20 million I had on Instagram or 500 million Cristiano Ronaldo, Taylor Swift type numbers. It's, um, you know, I had a 7% conversion rate. So let's say if we took. Uh, I, love, I, I love when you do math. 500. I love when Ye does math, y'all. Billionaire doing math on the calculator. Okay, so say Taylor Swift has 500 million Instagram followers. Right. Is that what she has? Something like, I don't keep up yeah, with that. Yeah, somewhere around there. Right, so if she had 
a 7% conversion rate of people who bought her album, whether it's for a dollar, ten dollars, twenty dollars, she would sell thirty-five million dollars. So that means uh, thirty. That's a, if she had a seven percent conversion rate for people to buy her album at uh, one dollar, ten dollars, or twenty dollars, whatever the cost is, that would be thirty-five million albums sold. So she's working wow. her ass off making vinyl and all this shit to even barely sell a, a million. And and it, they 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 gas up the audiences, dopamines and serotonins and the artists. Right. Like they tell us these streams they came through. I got off Instagram to not even hear about a stream again. Everybody know the streams. Is that is, why you deleted Instagram? That ain't just one. I, I, one of the reasons I deleted it, but I want to say that, think about that. Taylor Swift had a 7% conversion rate the way I do. She would sell 35 million albums, like thriller numbers. Yeah. Now, that's the whole thing for these, all the celebrities to really be able to capitalize off of their audience. Or is it a bunch of middlemen controlling the market? Wow. There are middlemen saying this is what diamonds cost. Wow. And everybody running around like every, that's why every bar that, Drake said means nothing anymore on a dropping game. If anybody drop and do shit, your <laughs> raps don't mean shit, nigga. It nothing doesn't mean because the shit is artificial. Lucy and Drake, all the shit is artificial. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's why gods had to come. It's like pack that boy up. You know so Wow. That that yeah. that's that's what everybody on. Yeah. And um, you know, the most viral tweet of the month, someone says, Call Ye crazy if you want, but you never see his name in court documents. Where do you draw the line with your, I hate to use this word, with your crazy? Because you've never been in any of these situations. Like, how do you be like, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to draw the line right here to where they can never do nothing to me? It's just obviously, you know, it's just playing the game of life however I, however I want it. Just if I want to present a challenge for me or whatever it is. <laughs> Like, I feel like you always know the perfect thing to do, but not too far. Like, where, where, where does what that is come too up? far? What is too far? Too you far know you gotta, like, as, as you would say, if you niggas not gonna kill me in the next twenty four to forty eight hours, shut the fuck up. And they didn't kill me. You know, I'm still <laughs> here. So yeah, I don't. It's like it, I don't. Stri it's 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 not a strategy. It's a feeling. It's like I feel this. I grabbed it. I feel this now. Let's do this. That's what it is. It's like. Right. No one can do exactly what I'm the only person who can do it and just, you know, everybody should just be happy I'm doing. They should be happy for what I did, what I'm doing, and what we finna do. Right. And cut. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You can and argue about it if you want, and people be mad at God all the time. No. <laughs> you on your real God shit today. Yeah. Independent money versus label money. Obviously, you've had number ones on both sides of the spectrum. Mm. Number one Seven records. times the amount. Seven Albums times the amount. And the singles? I, yeah, I'm not that good at, did, did at the market. Did you do the math? I mean, you 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 able to count the money independently now? Yeah, you know, it's still not. It ain't money is all relative, right? It's like yeah, four quadrillion accounted for dollars on the planet Earth. What's money to MBS out in Saudi? Right. You know, what's money to the Chinese government? What's money to the Vatican? What's money to BlackRock? You know, right. we argue amongst each other. You know, I just like. Went ahead and made the most money just to be like, don't talk to me about money. <laughs> that was that was, and cut. What's next? Yeah. Just, because we here really to build to build. I uh, I said what we're building drone. What we're building, you know, right here every day we're building towards simplifying uh, our surroundings to provide a happier life for people. You know, I just. Mm -hmm. I talk shit about these and everything, all the shit, high school, anything, everything I said on this shit is high school to me and shit. I'm yeah. like, you know, you're on a whole, on a yeah, whole yeah. different level, but how do you stand? It's funny to me. How do you stay inspired when you've done it all? Because like of, when you still get on these records with everybody, like you're better than them, you're greater than them, you're richer than them, mm. you've accomplished more than them. Mm. What the fuck keeps you still going to the booth, going to the studio? What, what what is that in you that it's like you just keep going? Is it like I got. Future and Metro called me to do it. I was like, sounds like fun to me. You know, it's like the Future and Metro called me to do it. Sound like fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we about to finish up now. 
the download episode one of the podcast. We're going to talk about the music industry. Um, what makes Cardi so special to you? Like, it's like on some like yay and like, it's like the super young gay energy. What is it about you know, Cardi? I, I saw it. I saw it. Boom, back when we did season three, we had a concert afterwards. Right. And at the C3 fashion show, we had a concert and we were in a smaller venue. And, you know, he went to the stage and just all the kids lit up. Like it was a different level of energy. That shit, that was about 10 years ago, nine, 10 years ago. Damn. And since then, it's just, you know, the trajectory is just crazy. He's getting better and better and just honing his skills and. You no. know, he's considered to be the best live performer Yeah. at this point. Most, you know, he be putting this shit on streaming services and yeah, it go like, crazy well, and stuff that, like that. That's, he, he's definitely mm-hmm. a different person. Yeah. Who cheats more, men or women? I don't know. You be online. You can probably tell me better than no, that. What do you no. say? What, what yeah. you done dealt with? Women cheat in a worse way. Like, women be on some sneaky shit. It's you think way. everything is all good. They love a nigga. They building with a nigga the whole time. You don't even know. That's my take on it, man. I don't really got crushed by these bitches who like, you know, they just be bad people. They be sneaky. <laughs> Have you been cheated on before? Absolutely. As a young adult or recently? My whole life. Yeah, I've whole had examples life. That, from, from what I can, you know. <laughs> Next question. Do broke niggas deserve pussy? Yeah, broke pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever went through a bitch phone and saw a naked picture she didn't send you? Yeah, right? How'd that make you feel? I was heartbroken. Yeah. Because I know somebody got them and it wasn't me. Right? And she lied and said they was for herself. I've <laughs> never seen a woman <laughs> yeah. take a nude for herself before. Right? Have you ever went through a girl's phone before and seen nude she ain't send you? Yes. Absolutely. Next question. <laughs> Have you ever mm. broke up with a girl and she came back sucking dick better? Uh, <laughs> I'm really thinking about that. <laughs> Is this bitch sucking dick better? Where you learn that from? Yeah. Um, have you ever had a threesome yeah. and the bitch outpo- outperformed your girl? Yes. <laughs> My, my girl at the time. Yeah. <laughs> do you think a woman can have whole friends and not do whole shit? Hell no. It makes them want to do whole shit. Wow. Mm. So if you if you're friend of hoe, we can't fuck with you no more. Or yeah. you or you just or you just fuck with hoes. Is one woman and two men considered a train or a threesome? I it, it could go on to any of those TRs. No. What would you call it? Would you protect women oh, and call it a threesome? Threesome, that's spelled with a T-R. Train. Get rid of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I call that a gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> and the last question we got here. Would you allow your girl to go to her ex's funeral? You mean if I killed him? <laughs> Have it. Download episode one. My new co-host, Yay. We here. We done popped our shit. It's the greatest episode ever, man. We get to talk our shit. It's a billionaire co-hosting my show today, man. Love you, Yay. Yeah. Appreciate you for pulling up. We neighbors now, nigga. Yeah. Next Friday, make sure you pull up. Yeah. We here to download episode one. Justin LaBoy, Yay, respectfully.